Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and Aloysius and I'm here to talk about my debt payoff journey along with my husband. Today I kind of want to go into the different types of payments, whether it's weekly payment, I think some places you can do daily payments, I'm not sure, but a lot of places you can pay weekly, you can pay fortnightly or bi-weekly, so that means pay every two weeks, pay monthly, and yeah, these are really the three different types. Some places don't allow you to pay weekly or bi-weekly. You can only pay on a monthly basis. So for instance, my mortgage, I am unable to pay it on a weekly basis. I can only pay it monthly. Weekly payments or weekly payments are really the best because you are getting the most out of your payments, right? You are making, you are, you are paying more essentially and knocking down your interest faster. So you're paying less, less interest in the long run. And then bi-weekly payments or fortnightly payments, they also help reduce your interest rate, but not as much as if you are paying it on a weekly basis. And monthly payments, obviously, you're going to be paying the most interest. But some places, like for instance, my mortgage, I can only pay it on a monthly basis. So there's, so there's no way I can, I can knock out that interest faster unless I actually increase my payment amount. So let me show you some of the stuff that I did with the student loans and the car loans. Okay. So if you can see in this instance, the car loans, this one right here, we decided to round that one up. I think the monthly payment was $284, I think, but we decided to round it up to 360 and with that $360 payment, because the place that we had the car loan at allowed us to pay on a weekly basis, we started making weekly payments. We got paid every two weeks. So whatever we got to set aside for our loans, we will put it into a joint, a different joint savings account. And every week, my the bank that I had the car loan at would pull out $90 every week. So $90 a week is essentially the same as paying $360 a month. But if you use an interest calculator, you are paying significantly less on your interest if you pay $90 a week versus $360 a month. I don't want to go into detail when it comes to that. Just know that if you pay on a weekly or a bi-weekly basis, you are going to be saving more interest in the long run and then when it comes to the discover student loans because we are also able to pay that one on a weekly basis that was what we did so the car loan one and the discover student loans we were paying weekly which helped save us a lot on interest rates I'm sorry, not interest rates, but the interest amount that we would have been paying otherwise had we paid on a monthly basis instead. The loan for my aunt doesn't count. I was dedicating $315 every time I got paid. And I was just putting it in a bank account so that I could wire her the money once I saved up the lump sum of $15,300. But yeah. So some places allow daily payments. I don't know if that's wise. You have too much to keep track of in that case. Weekly payments have been very successful for me and so have fortnightly or bi-weekly payments. Now coming to the house. Initially, we had bought our house in 2017 for a loan amount of $100. $80,000. So at the rate of 3.75%, we were paying 
I don't remember the payment amount for the 3.75%. But then when we realized the interest rates had dropped significantly in 2020, we decided to refinance and we got it at a 2.5%. For the remaining amount of $170,000, $170,200. So that was the refinance amount. So at that point in time, we had knocked out about $10,000 in almost three years, I want to say. Which really isn't a lot. But at that 2.5%, Initially, we were paying a rounded up amount of $1,600 a month. Again, my mortgage company does not allow you to pay on a weekly or a bi-weekly basis. You can only pay monthly, unfortunately. But as our finances grew, as we got more money, as we started making more money, we started increasing our monthly payments. Also, we had to increase our monthly payments because the property taxes were also growing. And because of that, this 1600 kept going up and up and up. And so over the last three years, I promise you it has gone up pretty significantly. But we have also decided that since we can afford it, we are going to dedicate $2,100 a month for the house. All of these bills are split 50-50 between my husband and me. So I pay $1,050, he pays $1,050, and that's how we get that $2,100. So all of these were also split 50-50 for the most part, I think. But it's been a while, so I don't quite remember. I think at, I think at some point I was con contributing more to the car loans because I had I was making more money than him at one point. So, yeah. And so this 2100 is what we pay right now on a monthly basis. As I was saying, if you are able to, if your bank, whatever institution that it is you have your loans with, if they allow you to make weekly payments and if you are able to afford weekly payments, make those weekly payments because that's going to help you save a lot of money in the long run. But if they don't allow you to, you really cannot do anything about it. So yeah, that was what I wanted to share with you this week. We did try to refinance the student loans, especially the, the private ones, but they wouldn't allow us to. Even with my income, and the fact that I had less debt than my husband, they wouldn't allow us to refinance. What I don't understand is how they can allow an 18-year-old to take up all of these loans, but not a 20-some, 30-some-year-old to refinance them. Beats me. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share this week. The different types of payments that you can make weekly, bi-weekly, slash fortnightly, or monthly. Remember, weekly payments always save you the most money when it comes to interest in the long run. And monthly payments don't save you much on your interest unless you are paying more than your monthly payments. Okay, I will talk to you guys the next time I'm and hopefully you are already inspired by how we have paid off almost $45,000 within less than a year of starting our journey from May of 2019 to April of 2020. And we haven't made any payments since 20, April of 2020 to now March of 2023. But we have set aside all of that money in a bank account so that once student loans are, when they say we have to start making payments on them again, we will have the money to pay it off. So yeah, I will talk to you guys next time and I love you all. Thank you for being here. And don't forget to like my video, 
subscribe to my channel and comment. Help me improve. I love you all. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye.